The scientific Lazzaroni is a self-mocking name adopted by Alexander Dallas Batch and his group of scientists who flourished before and up to the American Civil War. Lazzaroni was slang for the homeless idlers of Naples who live by chance work or begging, so called from the Hospital of St. Lazarus, which served as their refuge. These scientists then gained greater support and laid the foundation for the National Academy of Sciences. However, the National Academy did not solve the problems facing a nation plunged in civil war, as the Lazzaroni had hoped, nor did it centralize American scientific efforts. These Lazzaroni were mostly professional physical scientists, interested in geophysical problems, who admitted a few kindred souls from other fields to their ranks. Their interests and range of influence extended to all of the sciences and included much of the research performed in universities and the government. They were consciously promoting the development of a professional scientific community in America. The Lazzaroni in the United States actually existed in the 1850s and a little before, though the name was not always the same as the group changed and grew. The Lazzaroni wanted to mimic the autocratic academic structures of European universities. The members of the Lazzaroni wanted only university-educated scientists, at one point, so as to create a pure science for America. Therefore, the scientists who did not match the code and oath of the initial members would be forced, if possible, out of their vocation and not allowed to advance unless they met the qualifications of the Lazzaroni, who often kept scientists out of any professional scientific position. They used their influence together, a group of top scientists against any one individual. The following is a partial list of Lazzaroni and their opponents. The American Lazzaroni Alexander Dallas Batch 1806 -1867. Benjamin Pierce 1809 -1880. Louis Agassiz 1807 -1873. Joseph Henry 1797 -1878. Oliver Walcott Gibbs, 1822 to 1908. Charles Henry Davis, 1807 to 1877. Benjamin Apthorpe Gould, 1824 to 1896. John Fries Fraser, 1812 to 1872. James Dwight Dana, 1813 to 1895. Cornelius Conway Felton, 1807 to 1862. Topic: Friends of the Lazzaroni. James Hall, paleontologist, 1811 to 1898. Senator Henry Wilson, 1812 to 1875. Jefferson Davis 1808 to 1889 close friend of Batch since West Point and Joseph Henry of the Smithsonian Batch did not like Maury working near the area which Batch regarded as his own the Coast Survey however due to persistent shipwrecks along the coast Maury was ordered to create charts after his charts were widely available the losses were greatly reduced Batch became jealous and was determined to get revenge. Davis was a regent of the Smithsonian for several years 1847, 1851, 1853 to 57 as Secretary of War. The institution clashed with the Naval Observatory over using its endowment funds for professional scientific advancements. In 1857 Davis re-entered the Senate, his great abilities were admired both by Batch and by Smithsonian Secretary Henry. These three powerful men, Henry, Davis and Batch were pitted against Maury, including during the Civil War. Davis became CSA president and Maury was under his command. The opposition. Asa Gray 1810 to 1888 
William Barton Rogers (1804–1882), Charles William Eliot (1834–1926), Matthew Fontaine Maury (1806–1873). The Neutrals Joseph Lighty (1823–1891), John William Draper (1811–1882), Spencer Fullerton Baird (1823–1887). Topic: Sources. Nathan Raingold, Science in Nineteenth Century America, 1964. Francis Lee Williams Matthew Fontaine Maury, Scientist of the Sea, 1963, by Rutgers, The State University Library of Congress Catalog Card Number, 6310564. The Lazzaroni, Science and Scientists in Mid Nineteenth Century America. Library of Congress Cataloging in Publication Data Miller, Lillian B. Axel Janssen, Alexander Dallas Batch, Building the American Nation Through Science and Education in the Nineteenth Century 2011. 1. The Nuttall Encyclopedia Various Entries Notes <laughs> <laughs>